Liberty and arch rival Coastal Carolina highlighted homecoming weekend on Liberty Mountain. The Flames off their open week opened up Big South play against a Shauna Clear team that was 6-0 coming in and boasting a number four national ranking. After forcing a coastal punt on the first possession of the game, the Flames looked crisp on their first drive as Desmond Rice hits pay dirt, giving the Flames the early lead. After Josh Woodrum interception, Coastal capitalizes as Lorenzo Talaferro, the league's leading rusher, scores from two yards out. Coastal missed the extra point as Liberty sustains a 7-6 lead. The Flames capped off the first quarter as Gabe Henderson gets loose down the middle. Liberty takes a 14-6 lead into the second quarter. All league wideout Matt Hazel had a great game for Coastal. This touchdown, one of two of the night for the senior, pulls the Shawna Clears within one again, 14-13. The seesaw battle continued in the second quarter. Woodrum threads the needle to senior captain Brandon Apon. The tight end's touchdown increases the Flames' lead to 21-13. After Jacob Hagen interception, the Flames drive 55 yards in seven plays as Woodrum connects with fullback Nicky Fwala Al, and Liberty would take a 28-16 lead into halftime. To the third quarter, Liberty takes the football down the field on its opening possession to score when Clifton Richardson finds the end zone. Liberty now leads 35-16, one of two 19-point leads the Flames would have. After Coastal scores, Des Rice scampers 10 yards, a career night for the Lynchburg Junior with 170 yards rushing. Flames lead 42-23. The Shawna Clears were virtually unstoppable in the second half. Lorenzo Talaferro's nine-yard run here pulls Coastal within five under nine minutes to play. The Flames would add a John Lunsford field goal to go up eight with four minutes to play. That left plenty of time for Coastal to make a game-tying drive. Alex Ross hooks up with Thomas Pasiello with 46 ticks left in the fourth quarter and a two-point conversion to Bruce Mapp to send us to overtime tied at 45. In the first overtime, Des Rice continues his career night on the first play, racing 25 yards to put Liberty up 52-45. Coastal comes right back as this Talaferro touchdown sends us a double overtime tied at 52. Liberty forces an Alex Catron field goal to begin the second overtime, which means Liberty can win it with a touchdown. The Shawnee Clears defense stiffens, forcing a field goal by John Lunsford. After a coastal timeout, the Flames line up and the kick is blocked by Ladarius Hawthorne, preserving the win for Coastal 55-52 in double overtime. Coastal is now 7-0 overall, 2-0 in Big South play, while Liberty falls to 0-1 in the league and will hit the road next week for Gardner-Webb. It's pretty demoralizing to lose like that. Uh, you know, I think we... Played hard for four quarters. We just got out executed on a few things, and they made a few more plays than us. Man, this one hurts pretty bad. We're still a good football team, and uh, we got good players, and uh, we got um, resilient. We're going to continue to coach them and teach them up as uh, coaches. And uh, again, yeah, you're a competitor. And uh, so whenever you have an opportunity to play a football game, you love to go out and compete, and you love to go out and win. And so uh, we're going to uh, go back and uh, look at the tape, and uh, we'll be ready to play against Gardner-Well.